Having two jobs can be quite hectic sometimes. Finding the right tools to get organized is so important to me because it definitely feels like the bulk of my work gets done when I'm able to seamlessly automate some tasks and basically create a good workflow to get everything done ASAP. I've been using Notion for more than one year to organize my small business, which is this YouTube channel, as well as many other projects, and I'm happy to say that they're sponsoring today's video, but more about that later. So let's start with the basics. I've been struggling to keep my organization system as simple as it gets over the past year or two, so I like to compile things in one place only. I really believe that being able to have a glance at a large amount of small projects and tasks can be really useful to organize things. However, it's also really important to make your system work so that each small task can expand into tiny little details that will help you make sure you're really going to get down to the nitty gritty of each step of your project and streamline most of your goals. So in Notion, I like to keep a full year of videos organized in a table, which basically works as a major publishing schedule. I call this my main planner. These are really easy to create and fill in, and you can just use one table as a full page and keep it on the top of your workspace for easy access. If I need to look at the data through a calendar, I can select that view option to quickly change views and get a glance at my weekly tasks. When you organize your workflow, you need to understand what is the main priority or value driving your work. Your main value can be length, topic, urgency, or date. My main planner is organized by date, because my workflow is mainly directed towards a timeline, as I have to publish a YouTube video every weekend. If you are writing a book, maybe your workflow should be organized by length, while a multidisciplinary project may be oriented towards different topics instead. This value should be the main pillar of your work, and everything else should be organized accordingly. So in this case, the date is the first column in my table. The great thing about creating tables in Notion is that you can turn some of the values into pages. For YouTube, this is a great way to seamlessly write and incorporate my scripts inside a table itself, so they can be filed along other data as well as being quickly checked by other people if I want someone to review the script or if I want my editor to read some notes on that script. Then, the ability to link everything within Notion expands even more the detail and content that you add to the different pages inside a spreadsheet. There are a couple of organization basics that you can take care of in an hour or two and which will help you throughout the long term. You can create a main indexing system to keep files related to your business, such as business permits, tax forms and IRS documents, as well as LLC articles of corporation. Having everything in one place that can be easily accessible, updated and filed accordingly will help you find these documents quickly whenever you need to. In my last video I talk about how I scanned and currently manage the digital documents in my house, so I will leave a link in the description box below so you can check it out. Setting reminders for important tasks like filing taxes, sending out emails, replying to customers or shipping orders is important in case you can't keep up with your business minute by minute, because you have a full-time job or other domestic tasks. In this case, I encourage you to set reminders throughout your business planning system so you can get a notification on your phone whenever you need to pay attention to a certain task on your schedule. For ideas and brainstorming, I keep a separate page on top of my workspace so it can be easily accessible as soon as I open Notion. I basically use a to-do list format and cross that idea off my list as soon as it's incorporated into my plans or simply rejected. For more structured notes, I create individual pages and keep them filed under my main quick notes section. To keep a minimalistic workspace, but without sacrificing past entries and pages, I keep a main archive page at the bottom of my list where I incorporate any other data that I want to keep out of my site to help me avoid a cluttered workspace. If you're working with multiple people, or if your business requires a lot of technical information that you'd like to consult more often, 
you can easily create a wiki or knowledge base inside your workspace and provide relevant information on how your business works, usual protocols and guidelines, as well as general timelines. And staying organized as a small business owner also means taking care of your expenses and finances and staying on track with a bunch of different data. The important thing here is to be disciplined when tracking your business expenses and schedule a review session once a week or every couple of weeks. You should be focusing on recording transactions like customer billings and payments, keeping copies of documents and files receipts including invoices and cash payments, and finally creating records for your vendors and keeping track of billing dates, amounts due and payment due dates. Again, and because I'm a sucker for spreadsheets, I like to create a table for this per month. As you can see in this demo, this page is a little bit more complex than the last one, having a few simple calculations as well as PDF files for each receipt that is listed. I also keep a small checklist to make sure that these expenses are being properly filed, as well as a notes section in case I need to remember something in particular about a certain expense. Anytime I have to file taxes, I can share this link with my accountant to make the process a little faster, as well as creating a PDF and print this page if I have to hand out this information in physical format. In case you're using social media as your main business activity, or as a way to advertise products or services, organizing your posts as well as scheduling them in advance will allow you to reduce the time you spend online worrying about publishing certain posts at a certain time. Deciding on post time, length and content ahead when scheduling a date will give you time to think about your posts thoroughly, as well as plan for an adequate time to publish. Just like I do with the rest of my YouTube videos, I used to do this when I was very active on my Instagram and website through a table where I planned the posts, time, date and content a few weeks in advance. There are also tools that can help you prepare these posts beforehand and schedule them through an app. And most website mailing list managers already have these tools embedded. All of your business planning can be achieved with Notion. Notion is a great tool both to cater for your own individual business needs as well as your whole team or if you have people collaborating with you in a more informal way. Having powerful software that makes sure you're all on the same page is even more important now that everyone's working from home while staying connected. With Notion, you and your team will be able to create wikis that keep everyone informed, manage projects all in one spot, share documents so that they are easy to find and edit, and much more. You can create everything you've seen in this video and get inspired around the internet and use the templates created by other users, because Notion is fully customizable, so you'll never be stuck to one template only. And if you think you want to use something more classic, you can use one of the tons of templates they provide for Teams, which you can also modify freely. And speaking of free, you can try and explore Notion anytime you want for free and for as long as you like, because they have now removed the 1000 block limit on the personal plan. You'll need to upgrade in order to access other features or if you want to add team members to your workspace, but at least your personal planning will be assured via the free plan. If you want to start using this awesome tool, you can sign up for free using this link, which will also be provided in the description box below. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next week. Bye guys!